This is two weeks later and this is what my veggie garden looks like after being raised in buckets instead of garden or raised garden. They're pretty tall. I would say they're about two and a half uh, feet tall now. It's been a week later and my tomatoes and all my other veggies have about doubled in size. They are starting to flower. They are starting to produce some vegetables. Where's my tomato? I know there's one in here. I have a tomato somewhere. Oh, there it is. So there's one of my tomatoes right there. I have some peppers coming in. There's one of my peppers right there. These bucket gardens are doing fantastic. Now, you can see they're a little wilted right now because it has been in heat for about two to three straight days now. I've been watering them, but that's the catch about a bucket is you do have to catch them a little bit sooner with the watering, but they still won't use as much water as a typical garden would, a raised garden or a... Uh, regular uh, in-ground garden. Let's take a look at my cucumbers. They have about maybe tripled in size and I'm getting little, let me show you one. There's little cucumbers all over. There's one. Oh, he's in the shade right there. Little cucumber right there. They are all over. I am so excited. I'm going to make so many tomato and cucumber uh, salads and other fun little dishes. Let's walk up here and I can show you more of my bucket garden. Here's my finger eggplants. They are doing fantastic. Again, they need a little bit of watering. Three straight days in the heat. Here's some more of them. Here I have some of my basils and watch out. This basil is trying to flower. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in snip it about uh, three quarters to halfway. That way it doesn't flower and I get good basil. Here's my green beans. Or if I let them go long enough, they become peas. But this is the perfect size. Just take a dip and enjoy them. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. One negative to doing compost in a bucket is that the compost, again, it's organic compost. So what happens? you do attract and sometimes the compost already has little seeds in them you really can't control that it's organic and it's compost it'll happen but you know what it's really not that big of an issue they pull right out little grasses and they're not taking any dirt with them just as i water i pull them out it's easy and it's not much of an issue you can see i miss these for about a week and that's what happens and I'll probably get this all out, you know, after I water. Here's one of my basils. It wants to flower. I want to keep that good basil taste. So if you look under here, I have, oh, that leaf is getting in the way. Here we go. I'm going to cut, oh my goodness, that tomato will not help. So there's a set of leaves, but I'm going to go one further down and get that. Now you can see nice healthy set of leaves that's going to sprout out there's another part of it right there that's trying the trying to uh, bloom i'm going to cut about halfway right there and i was also trimming up some of my tomatoes if they're yellow leaves get rid of them they're no good uh, you can take your scissors out or a lot of times they'll just fall off like this one might oh no that's still half alive but i'm still going to trim it up Right, oh, all the leaves are in the way. I'm trying to show you right here. No basil. I have basil says no, I don't want to show you. All right, right, oh my goodness, that basil. Right here, there we go. I'm gonna come in, my scissors and, oh, if I can get it. Oh, I missed again. Oh, I missed again. There we go. <laughs> and took out that leaf. It's the heat of the day. They're dehydrated. 
I'm going to water them. But what's great about the bucket garden is they are getting a lot of sun on my deck right now, but I have to lug over, you know, my hose doesn't reach all the way, so I have to lug over my uh, watering can and water them that way. But you know what? What I'm gonna do instead is I'm taking these right over to where my watering can is and some of my other veggies, and I'm gonna start watering them over there. That's what's great about the bucket garden is you can move them wherever you want. You can follow the sun, you can put them in shade, which on these heat, heat of the days, sometimes that's not a bad idea. Bring them into the shade half of the day. Find a place where you know that, you know, they will be in a little bit more shade, but it's totally up to you. They're fine in the sun, just have to water them a little bit more. Here's a better look at a basil that wants to start flowering. This is when the leaves really start to cluster together really tight. So I'm just gonna go two leaf sets down and trim. Here's another one trying to flower. It is in the shade, there we go. And just do two leaf sets down. You can see they're starting to sprout out right here too. Get that out of the shade. Right here, here I'll pull it. There we go, two leaf sets down. That's my what I prefer to do. Here's another set, two leaf sets down, and two leaf sets down. And then that will start to bush out a lot better and focus less on flowers. One more over here, two leaf sets down, two leaf sets down. There we go. I just moved my entire bucket garden collection to one spot right next to my hose Initially, I had them up by my deck. Uh, it was nice to see and nice to watch them grow, but now um, they need a little bit more watering, but they don't use as much water as a typical garden bed would do. But what I want to tell you was when uh, they start to get a little limp and the soil gets a little dry, what I did was I first did a light soak on all of my buckets, and what that does is it allows the soil to become a little bit moist, a little bit damp. If you try and soak them, all of that water will shoot right down to the bottom. You'll lose all the water, it doesn't get absorbed. Let the soil absorb the water a little bit, a little at a time, and then come back about 10, 15 minutes later, do a second good soak, and then your buckets will be fantastic. Keep following me and you'll see how my garden's growing. And I'm already getting my vegetables. It's, it's, it's the middle of June and they're coming in. This is probably one of the soonest vegetables that I've seen yet. This is fantastic. I'm so excited. Keep following. When growing basil, don't let the basil plant start to flower. That's what it's doing right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it about one or two leaves before below with starting the flower and snip it. That way it's producing leaves and not flowers and then seeds. When growing tomatoes, if you start to see yellow leaves, snip them. All they're doing is sucking energy from the plant and not giving into producing the tomatoes. You can also tell it's ready to come off because it literally just falls off. It broke right off from the original spot.